those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button. But here's, here's really what matters from a scientific perspective. Evolutionists have defined and excluded creationism from the discussion by saying we don't make testable predictions. We don't put things in print that say here's how the future is going to look and then wait for future things to happen to see if it's true or false. So the simple example I like to think of is I've got a water bottle here. If I drop it, gravity predicts that it's going to fall. Right now, me letting go of the water bottle is future. I predict it will fall. Gravity predicts it will fall. Now I let go. The future becomes the present. It's true. It's a testable prediction. That's the type of thing they're looking for in genetics. Well, I've done that now. Creations have been, do have been doing this in other fields of science as well. I've put predictions in print. In print. Here's how fast or slow the African rate of Y chromosome change or mitochondrial DNA change should occur. And I mention that specifically because no one's yet measured that rate in African peoples. It's only been in non-African peoples. These are the type of predictions that evolution should put in print. I've made predictions about the function of specific DNA positions, whether or not they should contribute to disease or whether they're part of the original design. Evolutionists should be able to make such predictions themselves. Here's what's most telling, I think. There's been an uh, anonymous evolutionary biology graduate student who's been trying to take my book chapter by chapter and criticize it. And really the fulcrum of the book is chapter seven where I talk about mitochondrial DNA clocks and say, here's where the data looks right now. And I challenge evolutionists to make predictions. I make predictions. Well, he's got a very long-winded criticism written up on the web of that chapter. What's notably absent in his criticism is any testable predictions of his own. Now, the Y chromosome data I'm discussing are, in fact, a fulfilled prediction of stuff I put in print in replacing Darwin. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I don't discuss Y chromosome data in replacing Darwin because we didn't have the answers then. I made predictions in replacing Darwin, and lo and behold, we're a couple years later, and they've come true. Here's what evolutionists need to do if they want to meet their own standard for science. They say creationists are not scientists because they're not doing this sort of thing. Now we are. I don't see any ev evidence from the evolutionists that they are. This is the pickle in which they would now find themselves. They've essentially backed themselves into a corner. <laughs> Legally in the United States, they've insisted this is the standard for science. Now creationists have met and exceed it, exceeded it. <laughs> God! What are the evolutionists going to do in response? The Bible is absolute bullshit! Complete and thorough! Come absolute bullshit! <laughs> have no idea what they're talking about! They're behind the eight ball. Not only do they not have that long standing objection to creation, they can't say that anymore. Well, you're not science because you don't do X, Y, and Z. No, we do X, Y, and Z now. What can you say in response? That, that objection goes away. Now, on the flip side, now they're in a defensive position having to meet their own standard, and I've yet to see good evidence for it, so. No! No! Ah! Ah! What is happening to me? This is an exciting time to be a creationist. I would say the vast majority of the mainstream community has no idea how this debate has shifted, and so they're in for a really big surprise. And once this information goes far and wide, they're gonna have a lot of work to do to come up with a rational response to it because we've taken what they've said to heart, responded to it, met the standard, exceeded it, and now we're waiting for them to do the same. I'm taking the challenge to them now and saying, hey, let's go out and there's a, there's a fox in the woods. I bet you I can tell you how fast his mutation rate is. 